Good morning. This is Michelle with Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Designs and Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Attic on Etsy. I just wanted to come on here and um, actually show you how I make the scrap pack folders. Um, I'm doing the challenge with Lisa, handmade from Lisa, um, on YouTube uh, of making a uh, scrap pack to hold uh, different scraps and so I just wanted to come on I've already made two and I I posted pictures of those two on Instagram but I wanted to um, do a video on the third one to show you what how I make them exactly so um, it's really pretty simple but I just thought you might like to see the process and then I'll show you the other two um, at the end so um, with this one the other two let me just back up for a second. The other two that I made, uh, I made one for just uh, my neutral plain scraps, and then I made one for all my floral scraps. So this one I'm going to do um, my multicolored scraps. So I have my paper organized um, by those three categories that I just mentioned, plus I have them organized by color. I don't know if I'm going to do the colors or not. It just kind of—I think I've, I've uh, kind of freed up enough space in my my box where I have my other scraps and papers that, for right now, it's okay. But otherwise, um, I might do all the other colors. But I think this will this will help me get these scraps more organized and be able to pull them out faster. Um, so. Anyway, I'm going to do the multicolored ones in this folder you see here. Uh, I did kind of start the process yesterday, and I thought, well, you know, I might ought to film this. So uh, I stopped what I was doing and decided to to share with y'all. So I am going to sit down. I hope I stay in frame, so I'll check every once in a while. So what I've got here is a folder. Uh, it's just a file folder. I cut off the edge. And then I folded up the bottom, oh, it looks like it's probably about two and a half inches, maybe. Let me check. It doesn't really matter how far you fold it up. It really depends on, on your scraps. Uh, this is more like two and a, it's a little over two inches. Okay. And then um, I cut out... You can see this. I cut out a piece in the middle so the when you fold the flap up and then glue it down, it doesn't get in the way of the fold this way. So it lays nice and flat. Okay. So that's basically as far as I've gotten on the folder. Now I decided on my other ones I have decorated, you know, the flaps here. I've actually put paper on the on inside, put paper on the outside, covered it, and I've also made pockets on the front and back because I had so many scraps I needed more pockets than just these. Um, I have to say I don't have as many multicolored scraps as I do the other ones so we'll just kind of feel that out as I go along. Um, so what I decided to do for these flaps and I'm going to cover these flaps with a digital that I have available on my Etsy, on Mr. And Mrs. Walker's Attic, on the Etsy shop. Um, these digitals here, these particular ones I'm going to use today, uh, these are some collages I did, and then I scan them in. And this is paper collage. These two are. And then in that digital, you'll also get, if you choose to, if you like it and you want to purchase it, you also get some collages of fabric. Fabric. And then um, there's one more of the paper collages right here that I'm not going to use today. Um, but... 
you do have that one available as well. Hold on, I'm checking to see. No, I'm sorry. These three I'm not going to use today. So you have five paper collages. You have these three that I'm not going to use today. I don't think I might end up using them. And then you have these two that I have cut out already that I'm going to use. That's the paper. And then you have five um, fabric collages. Okay. So we'll set those aside. And then I'm going to leave this out just in case I want to use more of these paper collages. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to glue this down on those. Uh, oh, I'm not going to glue the flaps down just yet uh, because I might want to cover this and then what I do, I like to tuck it kind of behind the um, the fold there, the flap. Let's see if I got this right. I don't turn this around. I hope this is in frame. Okay. I don't want that white part showing, so I'm going to have it go off the so I'm just gonna just gonna glue this down. Okay. Excuse my arm. And I'm just gonna trim this white part off that was like a margin on the page. Trim that off. And then I'm going to trim this excess off. Okay, and so there's one flap. There's a scrap that we can let use. Let's see. And so I'm going to glue. So now I'm going to go ahead and trim this. Sorry, trim this off. I'll go all the way to the end since there's since I did on the other one. I'll go ahead and trim this off so I know how far to go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just using an old book here to put my glue on my paper. Okay, so there's our two inside flaps. Try this. With our digital collage. And again, this is available in the shop if you would like to get some. Okay, so now I have, uh, sorry for the glare, I know there's probably a glare, but um, I have a big tub that I have all of my paper standing up in, my scrapbook paper, and then I have these big sleeves that are supposed to go in a, I guess a scrap, a actual scrapbook, um, but I was putting my um, scraps in, in these at the beginning of each category. And it was getting quite full, so I was kind of running out of room in my, my tub. So I thought, well, I'll just do this project and get these out of the tub so I'll have more room. So I have all of these scraps here, and then plus I have um, these right here that, I don't know, I'm trying to decide. That is really primarily green or blue. But uh, I might include them. 
So let me take these out. <clears throat> I have a lot of small pieces in here. So um, let's see what we got. I try to take the larger pieces or maybe pieces that are, you know, a little bit bigger and see if they will work as backgrounds to glue down. <clears throat> um, this is actually part of the calendar. It's not actually. This too is a Monet calendar I used in other uh, journal. Um, this is a bigger piece. So let's see here. This is cute. This looks really cute with the. It will not reach all the way across. Um, but it looks like it can do. At least I can do one side of this. Glue one side of this down. And I've been trying to kind of leave a margin or a border because I think that looks nice. Um, so let's see. Um, I do need to trim. This is kind of raggedy. So I'm going to set that aside and trim this raggedy edge off. better so now I can kind of measure this has got a fold here but I'm not gonna worry that's not gonna bother me and I think once it gets glued down you really won't see it so I'm gonna oops sorry for the reach Use a, this is a friction pen, so I can erase it. Um, so I'm going to mark where I need to cut this, which I think I put it with her on that line. Okay, so now I've got that small piece of scrap. Okay, so that will go down there. Do I like it on this side? Or this side. Ooh, I think I like it on this side better because it matches the pink and the goldish hues in this side better. So you're really not going to see much of it once you get your scraps in here, but oh well, it looks good on that side right now. <laughs> Uh, this is quite a bit for glue stick, but this is pretty good glue stick. This is the Elmer's Extreme. So it works pretty well. Oh no. Oh, tell me it seems so. Oh, okay, it's coming off. I think I need to change my sheet out because it's sticking to this side so let me tear this out so I got some on it while I go and that's the point of using this so you don't get it on your work surface <clears throat> okay, where was I this is gonna dry on me if I don't hurry I 
Okay. Try to get some of that off with a baby wipe. Okay, I'm just going to try to position this. I've got a margin. I'm just wetting a baby wipe because my package got left open and dried out. So I'm just re wetting it with. So I got glue there. Okay. That may wrinkle just a little bit, but I'm not too concerned with it. That's not going to show. to make some, do a little bit of repair work. This looks like I need some glue here. I'm just going to use my finger, I think. Okay, so, I mean, like, these are four scraps, so it's not like it's my best work of art. Okay, so there's that. Now let's see if we can find some. I don't know if I'm going to have enough big pieces to cover everything. So now actually I can glue these flaps down or this flap down. So I'm going to use my, my scotch tacky glue to do that, and I bet I'm going to have to, hold on. Use a needle to unclog this because it's getting clogged now for some reason. So I'm just going to put this thin bead of glue on either side. It's kind of coming over here, but I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Okay, so we got that flap done. So we'd brag about this glue and then it don't work. <laughs> the scotch creates pretty good. Um, I like it for paper on paper. Of course, I still use my Fabri-Tac um, for other things, but <clears throat> excuse me, Let me get some water. Okay, I think this piece is big enough. Now it's going to leave because it's got this fancy border on it. It's going to leave a border around the edge. Um, I 
I don't guess I minded that much. I was just thinking about if I like that or not. Um, yeah, that's probably okay. Because, um, like I said, once you get your papers in here, it's, yeah, you're not going to see much that. And I can always distress the edges or, you know, with some type of, uh, some color of distress ink if I want to. So, that piece. this down here okay. I'm gonna use the scotch create on this since it's um, uh, thicker scrapbook paper this stuff is not that cheap either so um, I don't want to use a whole lot of it if I don't have to. You know? So. I'm just using a, uh, my husband has a um, 3D printer, so I'm just using a waste piece of plastic that he had to spread this on. It works really well. Got it on my hands, of course. Now let me make sure that I have it this way. I believe. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, Michelle. This way. I'm going to make sure to get it down far enough under that flap. There we go. So that's cute. I like that. Very colorful. Let me wipe this um, glue off this. Okay. So now we need to glue this flap down. Gosh, I hope this is not very long. I apologize if it's going to be a long video. I didn't intend for it to be. <laughs> Do you know how that goes sometimes? Okay. So the inside is done. And it's nice, it's already getting really nice and sturdy. Um, because of adding that, that paper to the inside. So, I have that. Now I need to do the outsides. Um, I do have this, kind of like this, because it has that border on it. And, um, mm, I don't know. I do this with the music would be going sideways. I guess that's okay. And then what I was thinking is. Um, I could take something that's pretty wide and make a pocket. I'm not crazy about this, but eh. 
啊。Turn this up. I need to go this way. Okay, this should be the top. And then I have this piece that matches. <clears throat> That could be a pocket at the bottom. It's kind of too matchy matchy for me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So this could be a pocket at the bottom. So I'm going to scoot this over some more so I can trim that up. Ooh, crazy about that hole up there. This is a good size for a pocket. <clears throat> Ooh, kind of like that. Yeah. And that way, I don't have to worry about that jagged edge in the um, hole up there. I'm getting out of my way. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so I need to put this probably about right there. I think it's crooked though, but the, um, the other piece will cover it up. Nah, can't work with that. I gotta trim it up. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Okay, get that trimmed up. Now. I've lost my mark, of course, but I cut it off. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, it has been so hot here the past couple of days. I have not wanted to do anything outside. We went hiking last weekend and it was really nice, but oh my gosh, past couple of days it has been so hot. Um, Thursday was my husband's birthday, Mr. Walker's birthday, so we went um, to Oklahoma and um, Missouri to see his family and I did a little shopping because you know it's a different area and the stores are always going to be different well there's a Salvation Army that I really like to go to up there and I went to the Tuesday morning in Joplin so our Tuesday morning here I don't really care for so I wanted to go to a different one see what they have and I did find some um, things I found an embossing folder I really liked and a um, it's really perfect okay so um, what I'm going to do with this now is to make this pocket hold more, I'm going to just fold in just a little bit on the edge here. If I could fold straight. I can't cut straight and I can't fold straight. 
Okay. And it's probably going to be a little bit smaller than that piece of paper, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. And then fold in a little bit on this side. And I don't worry about the bottom. You could do the bottom. Um, but then that way you glue those flaps down and it gives you a little more space back there. It's not quite as tight to um, put stuff in that pocket. So <clears throat> so I'm going to use my scotch and glue this down. Okay, and then this side, this yeah, bottom, bottom down. Now you could be as fancy as you want with these. You would not have to, um, you know, be as plain as I'm being. I just I have seen some really pretty fancy ones on uh, some of the YouTube videos. So um, yeah, whatever you want to do, however fancy you want to make it, I'll show you the other two I made. I did not really do anything fancy with my floral one because if those florals just are so busy. But now, see, you have get that to go down. Now you have a little bit more room here to put all the scraps in there. Okay, so now we have the front done. Now we're just going to do the back. I have this piece. It was actually a travel scrapbook page. No, I like that or not. Let's see. What can I? Ooh, that looks kind of good with it, though. Let me cut it and see how I like it after it's cut with these frames on here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like that. <clears throat> so what I was saying was that I went to Tuesday morning and they had this particular Tuesday morning um, I got an embossing folder really light and um, I had some paper bags all different sizes like the kind that we put in journals for um, you know pockets and such so I got several of those because I, I don't see those around here. I'd have to order them online. I mean, which I could, but okay. I don't think I'm going to put a flap or put the little flaps on this one because I think I probably got enough room. I think, ah, well, I got enough of it. I might as well, huh? Okay, so I need to measure this. I need to allow for the flap, so um, I hope I'm in frame. So I'm going to mark it probably like out here so I have enough for the flap. So I'm just going to, I may not have done enough, but I'm just going to fold in a little bit like we did with the other one on each end.
I'll just kind of put it in them, try to center it so it, and then I think I'm going to go back and distress the edges that way it's not quite as noticeable. Okay, so do I like it like that or like this? I like the blue at the top. Okay, so I'm going to glue it like this. This is the bottom. Oh. First things first, Michelle. I gotta glue this down first. Duh. This is scrap of paper, but I might add some of the scotch to this just to make sure. I don't think it's quite as thick as that other one I used, but. If this is good spread. I guess so. Oops. Sometimes I can get a little wild with this. I don't have the patience for, for the for doing this like detailed glue work. See, I got it all. How did I have this? Like this, I think. I'll have to wipe that off. I got it everywhere. Everywhere. Now, Lisa on Handmade from Lisa on YouTube, she has... She has a video on how she does hers, so I will link that in the description box so you can see <clears throat> how she does hers. And then I think uh, it is a collaboration with Diane Shaw on Shawcraft One. So um, I believe Diane just put out a video uh, about hers. So I'll try to find her video as well and link her video. And then, of course, I'll hashtag it so it can be found through the scrap. Um, everybody else that's doing these. I think this is right. If it's not, it's no big deal as far as what side is up. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's right. That's the nice thing about using wet glue, though. You have some wiggle room. Um, when it comes to positioning things. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got glue all over my hands. What is new? At least it's not as bad as Fabri-Tac. <clears throat> Okay, so we got that part done. I'm go ahead and distress this. Just used a good old vintage photo. Why not? Turn this out. I have a fresh because I like to use the book to um, distress my edges, kind of work in the edges. Of course, I think I get more ink 
on the um, book than I do I do the actual project <laughs> this way, but it kind of keeps me from being a little too overhanded or heavy handed, not overhanded, heavy handed with the ink because I tend to do that. So. Right there, I get a little wild with it. I don't know, there's some people that just have a lot of patience with this, and this part, me not so much. Just like with the gluing, I just want to get it done. So yeah, I found a bunch of bags at Tuesday morning. I found an embossing folder. Um, and I found they had some different paper pads. Of course, I haven't been in this Tuesday morning in my area in a long time because, I, like I said, I really don't care for it. So they, they may have had some of this stuff. I don't know. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so yeah, that was a really nice Tuesday morning. So if you're ever in the Joplin area, you should go by and see it. Okay. I don't know if I want to do this, the inside or not. I kind of like it because it goes with all these colors more so. I think I'm going to leave that. It's a lot of distressing. So I'm just going to clean my brush off real quick. And then we'll just fill it up. I use this brush for more than one color, so I try to try to keep it clean. Okay, so let's start filling this baby up. So this is too long, so if I lay up on this one, um I'm just going to fold it, okay, stick it down in here, this one's kind of short so I'll probably put the shorter ones on the inside, I'm going to stick this down in here, this will be pretty, behind that, there's another long piece, I'm just going to fold it, some of them I cut, just kind of depends, I don't know, that then I've got this big piece I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut this so I think I'm just gonna cut it in half this way and then I will fold this piece and then even this up and get that ink off of there because I used it like a bookmark with that inked up, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that piece. Guess I'll leave that. So that will go on a smaller. Okay, so let's go to the back. Do some of these bigger pieces back here. That's almost too long. So yeah, see it really doesn't matter that this was kind of cut off or whatever because um, <laughs> this was a piece I used for audition stamps. I'm going to cut this off. Even this up. Just a little crooked. Just a little bit. Okay. 
with that as a smaller piece. Stick this in the back like that. And then the so you end up, I really have that much. They're all smaller pieces. Let me get them all over here so you can see them. All smaller pieces, so. Um, let's go to the inside. The inside. <laughs> let's see what we can do with the inside. Get some of these bigger ones. Kind of blend in some of this paper is from the same paper pad, I believe. This is one that was already folded, it looks cute over here. And that's another one that was folded right over there. Some of the uh, these were folded because these were offcuts from some journals I did. So I'm just going to kind of keep tucking them behind um, but where you can kind of see them still. So you just you just layer. Um, here's one that has flowers. Um, See, I don't, I don't, see, this is all I have left, so this is kind of bright. I'll put this up here. Um, we got this bright piece. I'll stick it behind there. So, I guess I kind of tend to put like with like. So I'm trying to put these light colors together. There. And of course, we got the back. We can put some more back here. This goes with that. And I'm just going to stick that back there. So here's this one. Okay, so we have, there's the front, there's the inside. Now I can see all my scraps better because in that clear pocket they are all kind of bunched up so um, I couldn't see all of them. And then here's the back. Okay. And then, of course, you could, you know, decorate, you could go further and put, I could put like a label or decorate this pocket or this pocket um, if you would like. I don't think I'm going to, don't think I'm going to do that. I could do like take these pieces from my collage kit, uh, you know, left their leftover, take some more of it, take some book page or something and um, do some type of collage if I wanted to. But let me get the other two so I can show you what they look like. Okay. Here is the floral one. I had a lot more floral paper, so it's it's pretty fat. But so I just have all these florals tucked into this pocket. Uh, looks like I need to do some repair work on my glue. And then here's the inside. And then here is the back. So there is the floral one. And then my neutral one, I since it was all just neutral colors, and it's pretty fat as well, here's this one. Um, I did decorate the pocket. Um, I took some encyclopedia page, some washi on the corners. Um, these were like some little die cuts I had and then this was a, a a quote out of a book that I bought. The best things in life are free. This was free basically. So this one I did double pockets. 
So there's a pocket here. There's a pocket here, and then there's a pocket back here. It's kind of hard to see with all the, but there's a pocket there as well. Okay, so I did that on both sides because I did have so many of these smaller uh, neutral scraps that I wanted to do a double pocket, and then here is the back. So now I have three scrap packs all ready to go, easy to use, easy to store. You can store them on a shelf. Okay, this one's tall. Well, I didn't realize that one that was much taller. Oh, uh, because I didn't make the pocket as deep, that's why. Um, so anyway, so now I can store them on a shelf like a book like this, which I have a shelf above me right right here that I can do that and they're easy to pull down and work with. So that is my video for today. Um, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great day, a great weekend. God bless and Talk to you later. Bye-bye.